don't scratch and don't bite, please. Yo, welcome back to another Big Yellow video. We have had the two ODI matches out here, which used that pitch over there. Today is game three, the first match on this new pitch. Uh, today's match is Papua New Guinea versus Scotland, and tomorrow's match on the same pitch is Netherlands versus Scotland again. Each team plays each other twice in ODIs. The first two ODIs were played at a different ground, Kampong. And then after the two ODIs today and tomorrow, we have one rest day. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we have three T20 matches. And the T20 matches will be played on sort of whatever pitch they choose, I guess. Or whatever pitch I choose. Anyway, hopefully you guys are subscribed and Hopefully, by the time this video comes out, we are even closer to 10,000 subscribers, or maybe we've already hit it. If we haven't hit it, please subscribe. If we have hit it, please subscribe. And I played my first game of cricket yesterday on the field behind me. Um, hopefully, you guys watched that video. Here's the thumbnail for that video right here. <laughs> it's, got, it's got some moments in it. I got knocked the fuck out, man. Cop one right to the GoPro and uh, snapped the little legs of the GoPro that the screw goes through. So I need to get that fixed ASAP. Um, still managed to use the GoPro for the rest of my batting innings. It stayed on, but now I can't get it back on. I've taken off the covers already. I've packed up the ropes. Uh, it is 10 past eight, Sunday. Today's like 27 degrees, perfect day for cricket. Tomorrow I think it's 33 degrees, so that's gonna be bloody hot sitting around here and then tuesday i think it's 27 that's a rest day wednesday thursday friday there is rain predicted but hopefully that changes like i said though this is the wicket they'll be using today still need to give it a brush and a cut and then a roll it's got a little bit more of a green tinge to it than that one did for game one that's probably because it's been under covers on and off since the start of the odis so it's been heating up the moisture in the soil and creating the green grass to stay a bit healthier because the covers we use are kind of translucent so it allows sunlight to get through not like just flat out tarps where it just builds up fungus these covers are a little bit different the ones that we've got anyway comment down below if you're enjoying these videos and let me know where you're watching from and even comment a b ghetto banger suggestion if you want it's up to you come here hey hey don't bite me don't bite me good kitty hey what's up man you better not bring me any bad luck. Being one of them black cats, you know. Just don't cross my path, or I won't cross yours. You a good cat, though. So you live here, huh? You live around here somewhere. I see you in the shed sometimes. Oh, okay. You can lay like that. I guess. I guess you can lay like that. What's up? What's up, little puss? Hey, what's up? Don't scratch me, don't bite me, because I don't know what type of disease your ass got. We were just laying down together. Come here. Come on, here, I got this for you. Do you want any? Yeah, look. It's just water. Just water, look. You can have it, look, here. I don't have any food, sorry. Hey! Come here, you don't be rude. You come here and you eat that. You drink this. There you go. You can have it. Okay, okay, okay. You just want to play. You just want to play. Okay, sorry. Don't scratch and don't bite, please. Pitch is all ready to go. The umpires hang on to the bales, but here is a look. Scotland training there, Papua New Guinea over there. No toss yet. Toss will be done in 10 minutes. It's been good these last few matches because, um, like, getting a lot of praise from the players, the coaches, and, like, the commentator and all that, but the the international, like, the ICC umpires as well are coming around, like, they're always talking every day, saying how impressed they are with my preparation and, like, how well prepared I am because, like, I've... Yeah, like having all the boundary like marked out prior to all four games so everything's ready to go like all i gotta do is adjust the rope by a couple of meters every game depending on if it's a odi on one pitch or the second pitch or a t20 on the first pitch or the second pitch um 
and that I'm actually using the correct equipment like measuring tapes to make sure everything is like the the infield circle is measured out correctly and it's semi-circle down both ends and then straight with the pitch down the other end and that were that would gas me up a lot around like the board members as well so I said uh, I said yeah keep going mate he's, he's the he's the treasurer so <laughs> I've got to get a raise for next season if they want me back <laughs> so that's pretty funny I thought and here is the toss lads Scotland will be doing the toss and Papua New Guinea have called I'm gonna guess they've called heads and Scotland have won the toss and they have elected to do something I'm not entirely sure because I can't hear them and I'm standing quite far away but I'm waiting for a signal give us a signal give us a signal give us a signal I reckon they'll bat first oh they're bowling first bowling first it is a fantastic day for cricket which I'm stoked about because there's nothing worse when there's chances of rain and you're constantly looking at the looking at the weather app and checking the radar and worried about covers going on and off and you're like, oh fuck, oh, there's a couple of little drops, right? oh, I'm positive. So thank God it's clear blue skies, 27 degrees today, 33 tomorrow, perfect for the last two days. It's going to be a rock hard dry pitch tomorrow, I'm assuming. Today's one's a little bit green, which is different. Scotland choosing to bowl first on what I consider to be a road. I don't know what maybe their thought process is, bowl first to PNG and hope to roll them because they batted first against them a few days ago at Kampong and made 280 and then bowled them out for 200. So maybe they're thinking, ah, oh, we'll just bowl first and hopefully get, get lucky and get a few early wickets and have it done in 30 overs and then come out and smash the runs. But anyway, if you've seen the last couple of videos, I'll film the first over and then I'll go to the frog box for all the wickets, any 50s, 100s. That's probably all. I'm not going to find every single boundary hit or every six hit. And then the last over of the match, like the winning runs, I'll switch back over to this. And you'll also see the mid-innings roll and all that sort of stuff in between. So, game's about to start in a couple of minutes. Let's get it. Almost popped it up back to the bowler. And for any of you creeps out there, I've got my socks off and my dogs are out. Bang, look how long my toes are. Flame me in the comments. They're like tingers. Well, that's what I call them, tingers. Because <sighs> they're like long like fingers. You get it? <laughs> cricket going on in the country today as well. So that's pushed in the air and well caught by Abel. Well, finally, some reward for the quick Scottish bowler. Oh, what a delivery from Abel. Well, that is easily ball of the series. Hit in the air. Oh, good catch. Well, it's a wicket out of nothing. Maxu just has this happy knack of picking up wickets from... Bold. Well, Chateri, well done. The captain, Maxu, kept her on. An extended spell and far right. That's high in the air. This could be a wicket. It is a wicket. Well, Siaka. Dropped into the leg side. Yes, no, maybe. Direct hit. It is a direct hit and it's out. Well, making amends from before. And that's out. Stamps. Good bit of keeping there. Oh. Bold. Well, bold. Darcy Carter flights that one up. And, well, Scotland really are hammering at home. I have to say, the ground has looked magnificent, but the wickets especially are very good batting conditions. If you do want to follow well, the head curator and the groundsman, follow on YouTube. It's called B Ghetto Vlogs, a little vlog page that uh, sort of documents the life of a curator. Blake, the head curator here at VRA Cricket. So don't be afraid to get around him and go through the ups and downs of a cricket curator. In the air, caught three in the over. And Darcy Carter has gone bang, bang, bang. Uh, well, it hasn't been the most exciting innings for PNG. Man, nine down for 131 off like 40 overs. Just very slow, conservative batting. They've obviously lost a clump of wickets in the last two overs. Darcy Carter, superstar bowler, superstar player. She made runs last game against Netherlands and got a couple of wickets. And she's just taken three wickets in one over then. 
it was, a, it was a wild over to the white channel. I'm sure you guys saw it in the clips before this. So hopefully the next wicket falls soon. I'll get out there and do the mid-inning stuff and a short score should be easy enough to chase on this wicket. And that'll do it. Well, Chateri gets brought back to finish things up. Max well, it happened a little bit quicker than I expected. Um, yeah, once again, no damage. That's just a bit of grass scuffed up there. So I'm gonna give it a quick sweep down both ends. You know the drill. <laughs> It's only 2.30 now, they're about to go back out and start. I think the latest it could finish is like six, but they're only chasing 133 runs. So, inshallah, hopefully it finishes within like 25, 30 overs max. And then I get to have a full afternoon to myself. Because I've got a, 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 like a, a bunch of videos I need to edit. Because obviously the one we just finished filming yesterday and then my game day vlog yesterday and then this one as well. I've got a fair bit of editing to do. I'm just pulling up in the shade right now next to the media tent. I'm just going to kick back and we'll wax. I've got the perfect spot in the shade for this match now. Check it out, lads. No one around at all. No fans over this side. It's too hot of a day for people to be here on a Sunday as well. All I'm missing is some coke. Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, don't get it twisted. Oh, and the pressure's proven too much. Hits straight in the air. It's a very loose stroke, and PNG get a gift. Big appeal, and gone. Well, shuffled across. The umpire had a very good look at it. Bold. Well, how clever bowling, and every single time PNG. You feel they're out of this game, exactly like against the Netherlands, they pick up a wicket. Quick little update, 15 overs in, they are 3 for 88, and Saskia Hawley, the fellow Australian, has just scored a 50, but a brilliant 50 by her. She also made 100 against PNG a couple of days ago at Kampong, so she's definitely got the wood over them. The action, back to the on-field action, and well, there's a wicket. A little bit of an innocuous looking dismissal. And a wicket, right on cue. They are a crafty bunch of their countries and friends and family play. As that's in the air, and caught. Well, I said it's not really a fun time to bat if you're Watson. You come out, there's not much to gain and all to lose. And all right. Scotland have beaten PNG in 27 overs pretty comfortably. They ended up being six wickets down, but probably lost a few more than they should have. Uh, Saskia Hawley finished not out. 71 runs. Fantastic innings by her. Barely any damage still out here. So that is the end of today's play. This one has one more ODI match on it. So I'll give it a sweep, cover it up, and to water the rest of the square as well. Just got the sprinkler covering this part of the square and that pitch that was used the other day. The other pitch and next to it is covered while I water this square. It's got to get some water back into it. It's almost 30 degrees today and it's 33 tomorrow, so get as much water in through it as I can so it doesn't all burn out and crack. All right, lads. Successful day at the office. 6 p.m. Time to go home, boys back here again tomorrow for the final ODI of the series and then a rest day on Tuesday thank fuck for that and then three T20s <sighs> I need another drink, see you tomorrow yo, welcome back it is Monday and it is the final day of the ODIs and what an absolute cracker of a day it is, blue skies not a cloud in sight, obviously you can't see that because you're sitting on my GoPro which is facing towards me but maybe you can see it in that little gap there. Blue skies. It's going to be 33 degrees today, which is good because it means that there's no chance of rain. Um, the only downside to it, and this is probably not a good angle with the sun shining straight on me. The only downside to it is it's going to be fucking hot sitting around watching cricket and the pitches are going to dry out. But I think the wicket they used yesterday, it held up well. We had it covered last night, so I'll take off the covers now. I watered the rest of the square yesterday as well, so that's 
healthy enough and should get through the day. And then as soon as today, as soon as it's finished, the match, I'm gonna water the entire square again. Tomorrow's warm as well, but then there's a lot of rain predicted Wednesday and Friday. We have T20s Wednesday and Friday, as well as Thursday, but Thursday looks like it's gonna be fine, but Wednesday there's actually a lot of rain predicted now. I think it's like 10 mil of rain predicted. Not sure what time, so hopefully we can still get a game on. But I've had another big yellow banger suggestion in the comment of my last video. If you haven't watched the last video, here it is here. Please go check it out. You'll see the first couple of games of this wicket, of the, the first two ODIs. Uh, this one actually wasn't commented on that video, it was commented on the video port, but this is Zombie by the Cranberries for a big yellow banger by Dylan Sorden7241, I hope I said that name right. I believe he DM'd me on Instagram as well. Um, and told me to play that song. I think he said he was from Zimbabwe. Yes, he did actually DM me and he is watching from Zimbabwe. So shout out to Zimbabwe, shout out to Dylan. Thank you for the message and the comment. Uh, Zombie by the Cranberries, good tune. It does need to be in the bangers. We did add the Cranberries Linger the other day. So this is another song by the Cranberries. Let us know in the comments if you've got any more Big Ghetto banger suggestions. In your head, in your head. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Eh, eh. I'm doing this first thing in the morning as well. I'm not, uh, haven't spoken to anyone yet, so my voice is a little bit fucked. But once again, I'm not a singer. Anyway, zombies by the cranberry. Add it into the list. Let's go. Pitch has just had a cut down at seven mil. The rest of the wicket table cut down at fourteen see the stripes um, now put the ropes back up around this pitch so people can't come onto it only the captains and the coaches can come and have a feel and then I'll give it a roll and repaint these lines in a little bit all right everything is completed and ready for play to begin here's a quick look at the wicket the toss will be done in 20 minutes Alright, first balls of the day. I'll film the first over and then I'm going to go live on YouTube for a QA. and a So if you want to see that, it would be on there already. Here's a look at the thumbnail. Let's go. Contest early. Just land here. Just getting her length a bit wrong, and here comes the throw, and it's out, run out. Well, it's a massive, massive moment. Run out, hit to cover, and a bullet of a throw. First ball from the new bowler, and it's a wicket. Lynch with a massive appeal, massive appeal, massive moment. Oh, that is an absolute corker. Well, has got a bit of purchase this time. Obviously, we know that one. Uh, as this is clipped around the corner, it's a top edge. And will it be caught? It will be caught. Massive moment in the game. Big appeal. And, well, it's a massive wicket. They need... Slower ball. Hit far outside... The leg stump, Hannah Land here makes great ground and holds on to it. And now bold. Big appeal, full straight. Watson goes, tried the reverse. And bold. AVB takes a third. Fontenla has to go. Second innings about to commence. In the air and caught. It's a massive wicket in the context of this match. Oh, and slips one through and picks up a wicket. As 
A big appeal and gone. Rabina Wright goes. It's a big wicket. Just tried to play on the crease and over the top on occasion. And bang, Maxud wins the contest. It's just chipped straight back. But that's neither. It's not a sweep. It's not a drive. And has to go. Big shouts of yes straight away. And run out. Well, it was bound to happen with these two at the crease. AVB shouldn't have been uh, the non-strikers end anyway. The Short, wide cut. Oh, what a good catch. Oh, I can't believe it. That's probably the most aggressive show that Overdyke's played and absolutely laced that. To yeah. Tries to just bully it and you just felt it's high risk, high reward, but fun. Land here goes on the hit, direct hit gone. This is going to be run out. Well, they don't even need the direct hit. It was hit straight to 45. And she can't. Game, set, match. But end of the match, game four done. All of the ODIs are finished. Netherlands bowled out for 153 from 44 overs, chasing 185, I believe. So just fell short. Still finished the series three and one. Scotland finished three and one. And PNG finished 0 and 4. Um, so it's fucking hot today, really hot. I'm gonna try to get some water back into these pitches. And then I'm taking all the boys out for dinner and a few drinks. Maybe we can stop off somewhere and jump in, have a swim somewhere. But yeah, tomorrow, rest day. I'm gonna come in and just water the wickets, really. So I won't show any of that. Catherine Fraser was player of Magnificent series and a lot of close contests that definitely could have gone either way. We're going to bring up the winning captain after Mexu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, the boys. I'll tell you what, four hot days of cricket today, obviously being the hottest. This could not have come at a better time. Fuck it is hot, and I needed this. Four ODIs finished. Now onto the three T20s. Oh, it's been a busy week so far. Can't wait to get into the T20s because it's just like not even half of the time. 1890 for some drinks and dinner. Having a noise. Yes, the boys. Yeah, I'll get a McFlurry. All right, we're riding home from work. Uh, we're riding home from the pub. Uh, Damari just stacked his bike twice in the span of like five seconds. Fucking funny. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bread.